Well, as we mentioned at the uh, top of the show, I tell you what, uh, we are excited about this news that we are getting ready to share this morning. The Florida Orchestra is back. Kelly Smith is also back on our show today, which it has been too long since we've had a chance to check in with her. Good morning, Kelly. How are you? I'm doing great. Good morning. It's good to see you. Yes, so good to see you. So glad again to say that the Florida Orchestra is back. And uh, while there is a virtual component, when I say back, I mean back on stage. Yes. And uh, yes. certainly it's going to look a little different this year, maybe sound a little different uh, this season. So uh, give us the details, Kelly. I know this has been a, a big kind of production and kind of uh, revamping that uh, your team has had to do, but it sounds like it's a, it's a great plan. Yeah, so we've had to basically rethink every aspect of the concert season, and we have been working on this for months. It has been almost seven months since we have played live in the concert hall. So when we return this weekend, we will play five concerts over two days, but they will have um, a whole new uh, lot, list of safety measures in place. And that will be from the lobby all the way to the backstage. Okay, so, and by the way, this is at the Mahaffey Theater this weekend. Yeah. This is kicking the season off. Let's start with on stage because I'm very curious to see how you, obviously, when you think of the orchestra and you think of the grand stage, you think of a lot of musicians packed on stage. That's the whole point of the power of the orchestra. So, well, you know, you yeah, you know, the good thing is, is that even with all of these safety precautions and these changes, the one thing that doesn't change is the power of music. So yeah. we are doing a little bit differently this weekend. Uh, we've been, you know, like everybody else, the pandemic has forced us to be creative. Yeah. So we normally have 67 full-time professional musicians in the orchestra. And so we've split them into two groups. So this weekend we'll have two different programs. You'll have Beethoven Symphony Number no. 7. We have three performances of that. And then we'll also have something that we're calling our new Sound Waves concerts. And those just explore a wider range of composers and pieces that maybe we wouldn't normally get a chance to play because we usually have you know, more musicians on stage. So the concerts will be shorter. You'll have fewer musicians on stage. There'll be no intermission and the audience will be limited, but the music is still gonna be fantastic. You will not be disappointed by the music. I have no doubt about that. And again, we've talked about it uh, many years now, the talent that's right here in the Florida Orchestra and in the Bay Area. And uh, you talk about the need for music and live, uh, you know, live performances and the performing uh, arts is probably more important than ever before, at least in my lifetime. I think so. I mean, we have this. These are very difficult times for everybody. Everybody's been a lot of stress and anxiety. We need music now more than ever. And we are determined that we can provide inspiring, wonderful music and still keep health and safety as our top priority. And that's what we've done. And we've, we've, we've put together a team of musicians, board members, staff, everybody has been working on this to make sure that this experience this weekend is gonna be powerful, but also does everything to keep people safe and healthy. All right, so we talked about the musicians. Talk about audience members. What do you need to know if you want to, if, you, if this is gonna be, um, you know, something that you venture out and do this weekend? Absolutely. What do you need to know? So all of our concerts, as you said, are at the Mahaffey Theater. Um, when you come, you'll get your temperature checked, touchless temperature check. Everybody will be wearing masks at all times, um, including the musicians, uh, although the woodwinds and brass will take off masks when they play. Um, and patrons will be able to take off masks briefly um, for, to drink a, a beverage or, or so. Um, there'll be no pre-concert conversation, but all of the seating in the concert hall is 25% capacity. Um, people are seated in pairs, at least six feet apart, um, and it's it's going to be it's going to be a great experience. It won't be like the last time you were at a Florida Orchestra concert, but um, it's it's going to be great. Yeah, explain the virtual component too, because we are well aware that some people just are not ready to venture out or are not able to. Absolutely. And I love that you know this, and your team has said, you know what, we want to make sure anyone and everyone can partake. Absolutely. I mean, the most important thing is to provide this music. We want to provide it however we can, you know, say music finds a way. So this weekend will be the first time ever that we are offering live streaming concerts. So you can go to floridaorchestra.org, eight o'clock Saturday night and tune in to the Beethoven Symphony Number no. 7 concert for free. We felt it was important to keep it 
free so that there's no barriers. It's available to everybody, particularly in a pandemic. I mean, we need this music, yeah. but we do hope that people who are able will donate and support it so that it can be available for our whole community. And then obviously we're talking about this weekend, uh, but this is going to be kind of how it works kind of for the following concerts after, correct? Yes. It will be the same setup um, for the, the following week. We have the opening of our Raymond James pop series um, with the Ragtime Kings and Byron Stripling. Um, and that concert also will be live streamed. Um, we also have um, a Mozart uh, Symphony Number no. 40, one of his most popular, that will be live streamed and a Christmas um, program that will be live streamed in December. And we're only announcing the concerts through December right now just because we want to stay flexible. We want to respond to what's going on in the world and with the pandemic. Um, and so phase two concerts will be announcing in November. All right. Sounds good. Kelly, again, what a treat to be able to check in with you. We're so excited that the Florida Orchestra is back. If people want to find out more, what's the best way to kind of get in touch and, and stay in, in tune with everything, pun intended? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we do still have some limited tickets available for this weekend um, for all five concerts. I believe there's still a few left. Um, so you can get those at floridaorchestra.org. They start at $23, and that includes all fees. We're including all fees in that price this year. So keep, keep up on our, our news and um, any of our live streaming concerts all at floridaorchestra.org. Awesome. Kelly, thank you so much. So good to see you. We'll make sure to get all those details on our website. Thank you.